Hey, what's happening, people? It's Odd Izian, and if you can't tell, we have a bit of an upgrade. Our new camera is here, and our new Phantom Knights deck profile is here as well. Uh, along with Phantom Rage, we have made some edits to our Phantom Knight build, and I'm going to make a few more edits after this, probably. But I want to go ahead and show you guys what I have built now, so without any further ado, since I have the cards finally, let's take a look at Phantom Knights. Alright, guys. So, as you can see, though, we've made some rarity changes. But we're going to go ahead and dive right into the deck profile. Starting off with main deck, we are running, of course, three Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak. If this card is in attack position, you can target one dark monster on the field, including itself, uh, on the field. Change that, change this card to defense position, and if you do, that monster gains 800 attack and defense until the end of their opponent's turn. You could banish this card from your graveyard and add one Phantom Knights card from your deck to your hand, except Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak. You can only use each effect once per turn. So you just get to put more stuff into your graveyard and keep extending your combos. We're also running three Phantom Knights of Ragged Gloves. A Dark Exceeds monster that was summoned with this card gains a thousand attack points. Uh, and you can also banish this card from your graveyard and send one Phantom Knights card from your deck to your graveyard. So it just lets you keep extending your plays. <clears throat> also we're running three Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. Uh, if we control a Phantom Knights monster we can special summon this card, so another extender. Um, but we can only do a special summon him once this way per turn. Um, you can banish this card from the graveyard and add one Phantom Knight spell or trap from your deck to your hand. And again, you can only use that effect once per turn. Alright, moving on to our two ofs. We are running two, the Phantom Knights of Cloven Helm. Uh, if a Phantom Knight's card is sent from your to your graveyard, this card gains 500 attack. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard during the end phase of this turn. Add one Phantom Knight's card from your graveyard to your hand. You can only use each effect of Phantom Knight's Cloven Helm once per turn. So it just makes it a lot easier to keep adding things back to your hand for next turn. We're also running two Phantom Knights of Fragile Armor. If a face up Phantom Knight's monster you control would be destroyed by Battle of Card Effect, you can special summon this card. So it gives you a 2000 plus uh, wall to put on your board. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard and send one Phantom Knight's card from your hand to the graveyard and draw one card. So it also pluses a card into your well, it doesn't plus a card in your hand, it puts a new card into your hand. So potential extension. And now for new cards, we are running two Phantom Knights of Stained Grease. If a Phantom Knight's monster is special summoned to your field, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand, then you can increase the level of this card by one. You can banish this card from your graveyard and special summon one Phantom Knight's monster from your hand, except the Phantom Knights of Stained Greaves. Then you can increase its level by one. You can only use each effect once per turn. So, yeah. Uh, I might end up changing this one to three and taking out one of my Cloven Helms or one of my Fragile Armors. But, another card that is eventually going to get changed up right in this deck is going to be Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. Uh, I want to run more than one, but for now we only run one. It's $25 a piece, and I only pulled one in a Phantom Rage, so you deal with what you have. Uh, you can discard one card, uh, send one Phantom Knights card from your deck to the graveyard, except for Torn Scales. If another Phantom Knights card is, ban is in your graveyard and banished while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of Torn Scales once per turn. This card is super valuable. I need to be running two of those, but like I said, for now, we're doing with what we can. Moving on to our non Phantom Knights cards, we're running two Junk Forward, because we can uh, special summon this card to start off our turns if we have no board, no monsters on board. We're also running two Blue Mountain Butter Spy. If we normal summon, we can special summon this card, so it just gives us more bodies on board. We're also playing two Kage Mucha Knight. Uh, another card that just special summons itself whenever we normal summon. And now we're running a couple of hand traps. We're running two Battle Fighter just to give us a little bit of uh, attack protection and then one DD Crow. Quick effect, you can discard this card and to the graveyard and then target one card in your opponent's graveyard and banish it. So we're allowed to play our graveyard, but our opponent is not. <laughs> um, moving on to our spells and traps. Currently, we're still running two Allure of Darkness. I feel like it's two is just fine because we don't run all dark monsters, so we don't want to brick on this card too often. We don't want to risk too much. We're also running two Twin Twisters, of course. Makes things super nice, and we just throw things to Graveyard, and then we can keep activating effects, so Twin Twisters are always great for Phantom Knights. We're also running three Rank Up Magic spells. We are running the Rank Up Magic launch, two of, and we're running one of of the new Phantom Knights Rank Up Magic Force. 
During the main phase, banish one or more dark monsters from your graveyard, and then target one dark Xyz monsters you control. Special summon from your extra deck, one Phantom Knight, Raid Raptor, or Xyz Dragon Xyz monster, whose rank equals that of the targeted monster you control, plus the number of monsters banished by using it as material. Also, for the rest of the turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck except, except um, Xyz monsters. This is treated as an Xyz summon transfer as materials to the summoned monster. You can only activate one per turn. That's why we're only running one. So, yeah, explaining myself as we go. And then a couple more spell cards to round out our spell. We're running one Dark Eruption, one Burial from a different dimension, just to put stuff back so we can keep using things. One Foolish Burial in case we need to throw something extra to Grave. And then one Monster Reborn because I've gotten out of more than a few jams of Monster Reborn in this deck. Moving on to our four trap cards, we are running one Fog Blade, one Phantom Knight Sword. We're also running one Phantom Knights of Wrong Magnet Ring just to give us a little bit more protection and put another body on board uh, in case of emergencies. And then we're also running one Raider's Unbreakable Mind. This card is always treated as a the Phantom Knights and Raid Raptor card. If you exceed summon using a dark exceeds monster as material, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. If this card, face up card, is in the spell and trap card zone and it's destroyed by a card effect, you can send you can set one rank up magic spell directly from your deck or graveyard. So, yes. So that rounds out our main deck. Guys, give me just one second and we will move on to our extra deck. Alright guys, moving on to our extra deck. So of course, now we are allowed to run our one Rusty and we are running our Gold Rare Rusty. So yes, we are running a Gold Rare Rusty. And to an add to the Gold Annoyance, we are running two Gold Rare Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragons. So I felt I needed to put these guys first just to get it out of the way. <laughs> um, of course, now that we have one, we are running one Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon, the big, dumb, derpy, dark dragon uh, that gains attack points equal to all monsters on the field. Enough said. Um, we are also running a Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon. And moving on, we are running three Phantom Knights of Breaksword. For obvious reasons, it just makes things so much easier to run three. Uh, it just gives us options no matter where we are at the game. And then we are running one Raider's Knight. To round out for our Phantom Knights package. Moving on to the rest of our extra deck, we are running one Gaga Ga Cowboy, another gold rare, <laughs> uh, and one 101 Silent Honor arc just to keep taking things away and making things impossible for everybody to play. And then to round out our Link monsters, we are running one Isolt until we have a um, AA Zeus to play. Uh, she is staying in here just to give us an extra warrior monster. We're also running one Arcana Extra Joker, one Topologic Zero Boros, because I think it's hilarious, and one Seri just Skull Dread. But that rounds up for our deck profile, and if you give me just a second, we're going to go ahead and clean up, shuffle up, and we'll get ready for a test hand. Alright guys, so we're shuffled up, and we're going to shuffle on camera. <laughs> if I can get the sleeves, there we go. Very nice. Do a quick little cut. Uh, there, he is. there we go. I know that's, it doesn't mean anything, but I want to be able to do it my way. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. See what we get here. We got Stained Greaves, Kage Mucha Knight, Ragged Gloves, Cloven Helm, and Foolish Burial. Okay, so this is a decent starting hand. We're gonna go Foolish Burial first. And we're going to put. Hmm. Ooh, this is a good one. Actually, we'll go Ancient Cloak. Ancient Cloak to Grave, sorry. <laughs> can't pick up cards. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. What are we gonna do next? Uh, we're gonna banish our ancient cloak from grave to add our silent boots to hand. Uh, 
Okay, shovel them up. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna normal summon our ragged gloves. Because ragged gloves are normal summon, we're gonna special summon Kage Musha Knight. Now we can special summon our silent boots because we have a ragged gloves on field. Now because we special summon, we can special summon, or special summon a Phantom Knight, we can special summon Stained Greaves. <clears throat> Goodness, can't talk. Ever. And do 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 do. Oh goodness, this is a hard one to make a decision for. I don't know what to do. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. Because uh, we're going to link summon for three and go rusty. Rusty effect. We're gonna send a. Hmm. Torn scales. So that we can set a. There it is, goodness. Fog blade, directly on the field. All right, let's check effects here. What do we want to use first? We're gonna banish our stained greaves to special summon our cloven helm. Uh, because we banished our Stained Greaves, Special Summon Torn Scales, Banish Ragged Gloves to send, because we already, yeah, we already used an Ancient Cloak, okay. Um, I don't have another fog blade in here. You know what? We're just gonna send. <clears throat> We're gonna send a stained greaves. Why not? Stained greaves is nice to have in grave. Then we'll overlay. Four, sorry, sunglass warning. Goodness. Break sword. Then if we were going second, we'd totally have the ability to use break swords of our um, Rusty's effect to pop a card on our opponent's field. Uh, because we're supposed to summon break sword. Break sword obviously we can use its effects to detach a material. Pop break sword, special summon two phantom knights. And increase their levels. This one would be engraved though. Increase levels. Overlay. For Dark Rebellion. And we still have Fog Blade for protection next turn. And we also have Dark Rebellion's effect to use. So, I think that's a decent test hand, and I think it's a good place to go ahead and just leave it off for this. Because you get to see more Phantom Knights content here coming up soon, because I'm wanting to do more and more to this deck every day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and toss this over to the outro. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Post-Rage Phantom Knights, and if you did, let me know by hitting the like button, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I upload new videos. Follow me on social media, all my links will be down in the description. Have a good day everyone, I'll see you next time, peace out. And see, that's what I meant by brick. <laughs>